Hi guys, it's Mina. Welcome back. Uh, the other day I was going through some of the videos and kind of organizing playlists and I came across one of these videos that I did that's called Elemental Alchemy. And it was really cool. It was a flip cup with a lot of copper and a lot of blues. I'll link it for you up here so you guys could check it out. But it was really fun and I thought, well, I haven't done a flip cup in a very long time. So that's what we're going to do today. The other thing I've been doing while we have all been at home <laughs> is kind of cleaning up my studio a little bit and going through some of my paints and why don't I use these? These are all perfectly good paints. So today we're going to be using Winsor & Newton mostly um, and they got some great paints. I really love this stuff. So let me show you what I have. This first one is Winsor & Newton Winsor Blue. Leaving a mound on a mound. It's a very silky paint, very smooth, very nice to pour with. I really like this stuff a lot. I was using a lot of Winsor & Newton and then I kind of got on the Golden's train and went a little crazy so the goldens is still sitting there <laughs> i'm just i want to use up some of my other paints as well so that's the windsor blue this is windsor and newton deep turquoise very pretty color just beautiful again like very smooth silky texture leaving a mound on a mound it's beautiful consistency great paint really like it okay the last one is windsor and newton violet windsor violet very pretty pretty color Nice dark purple, similar to dioxazine purple. Leaving a mound on a mound. Okay. I have my usual 24 karat gold from DecoArt Americana Decor Metallics. Leaving a mound on a mound. And my DecoArt Americana Decor Satin Enamels in pure white. Mixed with some Artist Loft Flow Acrylic in white. Come on, wind, really? Well, it doesn't matter if she's windy or not. We're flipping today. We're not pouring. <laughs> what is that? Okay. And last but not least, I have, I'm using up the rest of my Treasured Gold series from Folk Art. This one is Antique Copper. And I had a little bit left of this one from the last video, the How I Mix My Paint one, which I will also link for you up here. Um, but I thought this would be really cool because it does that color shifty thing with the copper and the purple with this color palette. So... To that end, let's move that out of the way. We're going to do, well, I'll show you real quick. We're gonna do five flip cups. So we're gonna put three across the top and then we're gonna do two across the bottom. So let's do that now, get that out of the way. Let's start with some Windsor Blue. I'm just gonna pour about, maybe up to that line. I have a feeling my paint might be a little bit thick, but that's okay. All right, I'm going to come in with the turquoise. Okay, now let's put some white in there. Okay, and some gold. These are seven ounce cups, if I forgot to tell you. Okay, now we're gonna come in with the Windsor Violet. A little bit more of that in there. I'll put small layers in. Okay. Um, we're gonna come back to the blue. Now I'm going to use the antique copper, but I don't want to layer it like that because I want it to actually mix in. So I'm going to pour this one in from up high. See what happens. Okay. What's that? Should we do that with a little bit of gold too? No, they're pretty full. Okay, let me move these out of the way. Okay. 
So if you look at the cups, right now there's like this purple on the top and then there's a bit of turquoise and then that's where the treasured gold is. But that turquoise thing is facing me. That's the side that was closest to me. And they all have the same. So rather than put all of them in a row the same way, I'm gonna put one this way and I'm gonna turn this middle one the opposite direction. So this one, the turquoise is facing me. That one, the turquoise is facing out. This one, I'm gonna have it facing me again. And then over here, I'm gonna have these two going that way. Like that, okay? Because it's really, this is the most fascinating thing about flip cups to me. They were all layered exactly the same, but you'll see the difference when we flip those three. Okay, so let's do that first. Get them out of the way for a second so we don't make a big mess. All right, and I'm just gonna take it and I'm gonna go right there. So this one, the turquoise is facing you. It's gonna go right there. And this one, it's facing me. Right there, okay. So that's pretty good. We don't want them too close to the edge. Okay, so these two, I'm gonna do the turquoise kind of in between those three cups. The turquoise is gonna be going towards you. And there. Okay, woohoo! <laughs> I love flip cups, they're really exciting. All right, should we do this? So the first one, so it's a flip and drag. So we're gonna flip it over and then pull it back. Here we go. Okay, and there's still some paint in the cup, so I'm just gonna come back this way with it. Put that on the corner and stop there. Okay. Now we're going to do this one. Look at all those cute cells. <laughs> oh, I've got paint on my nose. <laughs> all right, ready? That's pretty cool. There's still paint in that cup too. I think my paint might have been a bit thick for this, but that's all right. All right, ready? Oh, that's cool. It's got a bunch of that antique copper on there. All right, ready? Okay. So I'm gonna come in right here and put some of that in the middle right here in that big empty spot. Continue it. Okay. One last one. Ready? Buddy, where you been? Hiding upstairs, Mama. <laughs> Zen does not like rain. <laughs> okay, so this is really cool. And this is one of the things that I love about flip cups is the fact that since you're stretching it and you're dragging the cup across, you actually get all of these beautiful cells. Hi, baby. Let's give it a torch. Pop some bubbles. Pretty cool. Can you see that one cool, really? Oh, just touch it. You cool cell right there. All right, ready? Let's tilt this. So we're just going to kind of go side to side a little bit and see where the paint is moving. And kind of have it roll over and cover up some of these emptier spots. off that edge a little bit and come back and go this way to sort of jiggle it a little bit. Oh, I lost that cell. Okay, I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to take it back down that way, kind of going this way to go off that corner. And then back. There's a lot of paint down here. Okay. 
going to kind of go back and forth a little bit and then take a look at it. This is so neat, though. This, like, super fine lacing with turquoise on top of it and then, like, purple and the uh, antique copper coming up through there is really nifty. That's really cool. I don't want to touch that and I don't want to touch that. This is a little plain for me right in here, but this is this is the antique copper coming up through that Windsor blue, which is really trippy. This is the really neat thing that I like about flip cups. I mean, you never know what's exactly going to happen. Ooh, stretching that side out, got some cells that come up. Down this way just a little bit. And that center part, because there's a lot of paint on here still. Go off that edge a bit. I'm not crazy about this blue right here, so we're going to see if we can't take this down a bit and then let it travel till the weight of the paint is about here, and then we're going to go off this side. Just like that. Bring it back. So, you know, it depends on how how much you like straight lines because you can totally move this around to not have it be straight lines but I think it's interesting that part is so neat this part is so neat too okay so what's happening up here is really cool and I think I like this better than I like this and this. So we're going to actually let this go down a little bit and stretch out and open up on that side. Come back this way a little bit. And bring it back a little bit. Let's see if we can't do the same thing over here. Let this fall a little bit if it wants to. Now it's not moving. Okay. That's cool. So it's your painting. You can do whatever you want with it. <laughs> Let's torch it one more time. And uh, I'm just getting the corners. It amazes me that the corners can stay bare. <laughs> all that paint <laughs> okay you know what I think I want to do since the paint in here is really pretty look at that up I think I want to put a stripe through here of this that's cool just bring some of that gold back in and that white for contrast against that antique copper is really cool Spread that out just a touch. Cool. This way just a little bit. That way just a little bit. Okay. Now let's give it a torch. Now that's that one. That's our little flip cup. That was pretty cool. Um, I think my paint was a bit thick for this, so I should have thinned it down a little bit more before we did it. That would have probably let more cells come up, but it worked great. And it's that dragging across the canvas that's going to, it's actually the lip of the cup is dragging across the paint and kind of acting like a swipe, which is giving us some of these really cool effects. I'm not crazy about this dark edge right now, but I think this is going to dry pretty neat. I like that all the colors are visible. There's our white and the gold and the violet. And I see this turquoise here with a lot of these antique copper cells coming up through it. And there's gold cells coming up through the antique copper right there. 
I like that strip. There's some cute little cells coming up in here. And I love this lacing over here. So I think this is going to dry really pretty. So there is part of me that's tempted to just take it and stand it up and let half of this paint just fall right off of it. So I think we're going to let some of this bottom part go and sort of stretch out this top part. Kind of walk it across the canvas a little bit. Because I really like what's happening up here and down there is not so amazing. Take a little bit of that corner off too. Too much paint on this edge. Because you don't want your canvas, you don't want your painting to crack. And if you leave too much paint on there, it will crack. If the paint is too thick that you leave on there. Hi, honey. Hi, handsome boy. You're going to get dripped on. But if you leave too much paint on there, it will crack. Because then the surface starts to dry fast, but underneath there's a lot of paint. So, okay, let's take this back down a little bit. So this is kind of neat because it stretched everything out and opened it up more and there's more cells popping up through here now too, which is kind of cool. I think I'm going to leave that one just like that. So, this is a little fun flip cup. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will show you when it's dry. Thanks so much for watching and hanging out with me, guys. I'll see you soon. Okay, so this is a couple of days later, and it's almost dry. Dry enough to stand up for a minute. <laughs> but this one turned out really cool. That lacing we did in there. So pretty. So I'm actually super excited about this one because look, that copper looks copper. <laughs> That's the treasured gold antique copper, which has looked very purple in the past, but now is actually looking like it's copper. And look, it's coming up as these beautiful cells. So pretty. I love that. It's a neat, happy surprise. There's like sun fighting to get through the clouds and it might start raining. <laughs> but <laughs> I was so excited to see this. I was like, yay! So that's really pretty right in there. The dioxazine purple. Oh no. So this was Windsor Newton, Windsor Violet, and the Windsor Blue, and their deep turquoise, and the 24 karat gold, and that. Uh, Empty copper. So that turned out pretty cool. I think I want to call this one copper in the clouds. <laughs> so that's awesome. I'm glad it finally showed its copperiness. Made me happy. There's some very pretty cells over here that are kind of coppery. And then over here there's the gold on top of that copper. I love that veining. That's that line that we put through because that one part was really solid. And like when you stretch it out, see, you see all those individual striations. So pretty. Cool stuff. So this was a flip cup. I think watching the video that I shot, I think maybe I should have used a five ounce cup instead of a seven ounce cup. Because it seemed like there was just a little bit too much paint on there and I ended up tilting a lot off. So. Next time, maybe I'll try it with five ounce cups. But look at these cool cells in here. So pretty. So that's clouds in the, or copper in the clouds. There we go. <laughs> I'll see you guys soon. Bye bye.